The Greatest Color, written and illustrated by Pupak Rod, narrated by the writer. Adam yawned. He was so tired. He returned the paintbrushes to the spot and wiped off his hands. He took another look at his painting. Pleased by his work, he smiled and left the storage room. But he forgot to wash off the paintbrushes. A few drops of white paint dripped from the white brush onto the floor. Looking about, it said, Hello, I'm the color white, the color of the little rabbits that hop past in a blur, the flowers that dance in the wind, the stars as they sparkle in the sky, the moon when it lights up the dark night. I am the color of the snow, the color of a snowman that plays with you, the color of... Be silent, white color! A few drops of yellow paint dripped from the yellow brush onto the floor. It tried to capture everyone's attention. Hello, hello, this is me, the color yellow, the color of the sun as it radiates in the day and warms you all, the color of the sweet-scented flowers that glitter in the sunlight, the color of the autumn leaves that dance in the wind and carpet the ground. The color of fire when in the darkened nights at the hour of storytelling dances on the faces of grandpas. The color of oranges that take your breath away with their fragrance. The color of watch what you say, yellow color. <laughs> A few drops of red paint dripped from the red brush onto the floor. Shaking its hands quickly, it spoke. Hello, it's me, the color red. The color of the beautiful sunset beyond the seashore. The color of plump and delicious apples. The color of pomegranates that make one's mouth water. The color of your face when you blush awkwardly. The color of roses that fill early spring with their pleasing perfume. The color of... What are you saying, red color? A few drops of black paint dripped from the black brush onto the floor. Throwing its chest forward and clearing its voice, it said, I am the color black. The color of night when the glowworms beam and make everything pretty. The color of the crow that caws seated upon a branch. The color of ink forming written words. The color of the pupil of your eye that sparkles with joy sometimes. The color of hair among many of you. I am the greatest color. No, the color white is the best of all. That's not so. The color yellow is the best. No, no. Red is the greatest. Come on now. Everybody knows that nothing better than black exists. Don't speak nonsense. As the argument was mounting, the old broom spoke. Listen to me. Each of you should now paint the storage room so that we can decide which one is the greatest color. Agreed? The colors fell silent, looked at one another and nodded in agreement. The white paintbrush jumped into action and painted the storage room. How clean! How lovely! How pure! And all together they praised the color white. Now it was the yellow paintbrush's turn. Busying itself, it painted everything yellow. How bright! How brilliant! How dazzling! And all together they encouraged the color yellow. The red paintbrush started to go to work. How cheerful! How exciting! How warm and generous! And all together they complimented the color red. The black paintbrush then made everything black. How meaningful! How noble! How timeless! And all together they admired the color black. No! It was the white brush that had cried out. It began to paint over the black with streaks of white. 
The yellow and red paint brushes saw that they were being left out and so they climbed all over one another and painted everything. Half an hour later, when they were all worn out, you wouldn't believe what shape the storage room was in. Two hours passed. Everyone was completely silent now. The brushes had each fallen to a separate corner of the room, laying there on the floor, staring crossly at one another. Suddenly, the used shovel cried, Come on now, I've become tired of this. Why is this place such a mess? Something needs to be done. The others seemed to be expecting such words to be said and began to firmly object. The paint brushes came to life in the middle of the uproar and looked about themselves. The white brush was ashamed and looked at the others, saying, This place has truly become unsightly. The yellow and red brushes looked at each other and then lowered their faces, feeling disgraced. The black brush shook its head and meant to say something, but seeing the stern look on the old broom's face, it remained silent. At that very moment, Adam opened the door to the storage room and, Oh my lord, what has happened here? As the old broom was retelling everything that happened, Adam went hard to work. He cleared the room and then painted it using all four colors. The floor in the color of purity, the ceiling in the color of brightness, the walls in the color of cheerfulness, and the window frames in the color of timelessness. Everything was much more attractive now. The delighted voices of the old tire, the broken shovel, the dust-ridden containers, the burnt lamp and all the others filled up the storage room. The old broom smiled and nodded. Now the room was overcome with peace and happiness. Adam looked at his painting a little while, then he took it off the easel and hung it on a wall. Four little bears of yellow, red, black and white were flying toward the sun together. Music